Greetings, I'm Second Life Rich from Human LLC, and I'm here to introduce you to the Comment AI browser, if you haven't already heard of it. Now, I need to let you know that I am not being sponsored or endorsed by Perplexity in any way. Um, this is 100% my personal opinion and how I use the Comment AI browser to help me be more effective in my workflows. And so let's go ahead and get into it. So right here in front of the screen, I've got the Common AI browser homepage. If you scroll this page, you can kind of get the gist of what Comet is and how it works. Um, you know, they show some screen uh, shots of using Comet to do things on a page right here, it's summarizing. And so, I recommend spending a little bit of time scrolling through here to learn a little bit more about it um, if you're interested in comment. But for this video, we're going to we're going to dig right in and I'm going to show you first some things um, that perplexity provides to kind of get you started, um, kind of show you around also. And then um, after that, I'll kind of show you some ways that I use comment in my workflows. And finally, I want to let you know uh, some of the things that I find challenging, um, some some of the tasks that I find challenging to assign to comment. So right now, what you're looking at is a fresh new browser tab. Um, in this case, we are looking at the equivalent of like a Google Chrome browser tab without any web pages loaded or anything. We've got the widgets right here. Um, down here, we've got the um, the account settings and all of the preferences and everything. Um, over here, direct access to perplexity. So if I just hover over like that, it'll just kind of open up perplexity and just give me all of the the normal features that you would get by logging into your perplexity account. Um, but it's this assistant right here that that makes all the difference when comparing it to Google Chrome. So this assistant is actually able to take over your browser and perform tasks for you. Pretty much anything that you can do in a browser, perplexity, the AI comment can do in a browser. And so let's go ahead and demonstrate that right now with one of their try assistant and action um, demos so i'll go ahead and click this one take control over my browser and win wordle for me so it's going to go ahead and do that let's let's try it let's see and by the way this is my mouse over here so you can see that we've got the the hue around the the browser and right now it's playing a game of Wordle by itself. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can let this run and go and do something else. Like I've got other tab, I've, I've got other screens and other computers around here. And what I like to do is I like to give comment a task and while it's running and doing that i'll be doing other things which allows me to literally clone myself and you can look at the chain of thought reasoning right here you can see it what it's thinking we can see the sources over here. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to try that tumor, but I'm thinking, don't you notice that the R is, is uh, green in that spot? But then it didn't completely put in tumor. Um, it 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 erased that, and now let's see what it's going to put in. It, I think it realized 
that yeah see it's going to try something that has an r right there it realized that the r was green so you know when this that's an example of while it's reasoning through each step you know it's paying attention and it will correct itself and so yeah i think that this is a really good demonstration of how it goes through whatever you're dealing with on the page thinks through it um, corrects itself keeps trying until it figures it out and that's actually been my experience one thing that i've had to train myself on is not trying to help and intervene so because we have this pause comment assistant button right there we can intervene anytime we want we can hit this stop button over here and and, and um send it a message anytime we want and complain about what it's doing but um what i've what my experience has been is if i just remain patient often more often than not it will figure it out bam it did it it solved it <laughs> isn't that cool all right so now so that's a demonstration of it using its intelligence in order to solve things on the screen um let me show you something else so in this case i pulled up a really 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 outdated WordPress site that I have. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Comet to go through and clear out all of those comments, clear out all the spam comments, um, update the plugins and theme. So just give it that command. It's going to take over the browser and go at it. So there's the comments. We can see all of that spam. It doesn't realize that I meant all comments are spam. It's going to look for, well, yeah, it's moving them to the trash. Okay, it recognizes. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. I was just about to try to correct it. You see what I mean? So it recognized that those were, were spam, and it's, it's clearing them out. You can see those are spam. It's moving them all to the trash. And so just imagine, you know, you give it this and you go off and you do the the other thing that you, you need it to do, you know? It can create content. It can, you know, it can completely manage your website. I mean any and everything that you need to do in your website and regardless of the platform you know i'm a huge fan of wordpress so we're in a wordpress environment but this could just as easily be shopify it could be wix weebly you know whatever it is that you like to use um so now you can see that all of the comments are gone um they're all now in the trash and comments going to go ahead and uh update the plugins And so we see that it has selected the plugins. Update. There's that one. And it's updating that one. So now the plugins are updated. All right. So that's everything. Well, no it's mis mistaking the actual update notifications as an error
So now it's updating Divi. So I'll just give it that indication because I can tell that each time it sees the success message, it's taken it as a failure. So let's see. Okay, so we've got another success. Let's see if it notices that. Yeah, and see, then it moved on. So now it knows, and that's all you have to do. Like you, you, you go through, and you just you you align it. You have to communicate with it what the misunderstanding is, and then it'll go through, and 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 it'll keep it'll keep working. It won't have that issue again. Now it may have that issue on a different session. I've noticed that, um, but you know, if you've got a lot of something to do or something like that. Um, now, one thing that that I recommend doing is taking note of some of the things you have to tell it. Like, for example, maybe in the future, um, if you notice that when it makes a, uh, it gets a success uh, notification, it takes it as a failure. Maybe next time you have it run that kind of task, you let it know. Um, success messages are green with a check mark failure messages you know are red or you know or says um error or something like that so you can you can give it that information as part of your prompt when you when you submit it and so i've got some very like long not long prompts but detailed prompts that i'll give it to to use to run so you can see here that it has now updated all of the themes it didn't run into that issue of stopping with each one again um, now let's see what it decides to do so now it's going back to these comments okay so there we go um you see most of the task was done um it moved them into the trash and then um checked the spam and didn't see them in there i can empty the trash right here we've got this one so you know i'll go ahead and stop here i'll go ahead and stop here with this um as you can see the it basically just does stuff for you and it's not 100 percent perfect but it's really good and it's really helpful for me and uh yeah if you've got any questions let me know thanks